Weekly Domino News. Not so weekly Domino News is back. Uh, I already forgot how many weeks that we missed, but hey, here we are. Kendertainment's host MJ right here coming at you with things that have been happening within the past few weeks now in the Kendama world, the Kendama sphere that we know it. There's been a good amount of things that have been happening. I've been trying to work on many uh, facets, many different areas of the work that I do. And so I've been kind of like, things have been piling up and I'm trying to get things out little by little, but you know, it's a slow trickle, but we're going to be pushing through and hopefully you guys, all of you guys and gals are in for another great episode. Yep. I'm going to drink a little coffee here. How's it going? News is here. What's up? So much news. And actually I was looking through my old posts that I had saved on uh, Instagram and I was a little surprised that I didn't have as many things, but there, there's some big news. There's big blasts, like headline type shits that we're going to be going through. So join, let me know in the comments how you feel in. And if you're joining in the live stream, if not, Hey, guess what? If you can't hang out for the whole hour, I'm usually on for an hour. Then you can go check out Weekly Jama News on YouTube and watch the whole videos there. Or if you like listening to it, I crop all these out, crop cut, take all these from Instagram and put them up as a podcast as well. So you can just pop in your earbuds or whatever you have you in your car stereo and listen to my voice for an hour. Just nerd out about, you know, Ken Dama because sometimes people are in an area where you don't have too many Dama homies around you to nerd out, you know, and, and that's a sad state of affairs. To be truthful, one of the best things that many people talk about is the community of Kendama, the people that you meet, the friends that you make. It, it really creates a special bond that I believe many of us haven't felt in other types of cultures, things that have been there for a while. Example for me, I'm like skateboarding, in the past, like since I was in elementary school, big into skateboarding through high school and whatnot. And then music, metal, extreme, uh, you know, music, hardcore and stuff. That was another community that I got into. But of course, those communities were there already. And I was like just uh, a, a poser and just a kid trying to fit in and try to see what kind of uh, uh, groups that I, I felt comfortable in. And the, the one of Ken Dama is a special one because everyone's growing at the same time. The community is growing, uh, at least the modern Ken Dama that we know. Of course, you know, Ken Dama is 100 years old. Japanese Ken Dama Association has been rocking for 40 years. And I know there's some 40 plus Ken Dama players in, in the North American scene, but maybe you didn't play since you were a kid like some of the people here in Japan. But in any case, that one great thing to about the community is the people around you. So if you don't have somebody around you, hey, you got Dominators to listen to, which should be a new episode coming in soon, and weekly Dominators where, yeah, I could just nerd out about stuff that maybe instead of just liking posts and uh, uh, sharing and commenting, which are all great things we all should be doing, we can chat. We can nerd out about it right here. Another great perk of being here live is you get to ask me a question. If there's time, again, there's a lot of stuff that I need to cover, but if there's time, uh, drop a question in the question tool here in the live stream, and I'll be getting to those questions, answering to the best of my knowledge at the end of this whole set. Bam. Okay. Oh, I got reminded about another post that I, I actually didn't, I didn't save. But yes, okay, we're going to start off with Flow Week. One that uh, I, I decided to move forward with because every year we celebrate Dave Mateo's passing on October. Oh man, <laughs> not much of a news source. I mean, I'm really not a news source. I'm just here to nerd out about it. We just call it news because hey, we talk about the things that happened recently. Uh, I think it was a 13th or 14th official day that uh, uh dave mateo passed about oh man what did i say oh even even me i can't even remember what was that four years ago and every time i see so, like like the companies the different people who were very close to dave 
make comments about it and, you know, post and remembering Dave, catch and flow, uh, not catch and flow, spike hard, catch low. And I'm like, I feel like there, there, there can be something else. I feel like, like, I always imagine, like, we should have, like, a, a flow competition that's, like, Memorial Dave Mateo flow comp. You know, a way to celebrate instead of, well, along with people posting about his memories and stuff and, and how they feel about this time, how we miss him and all this stuff. It's, it's a heavy topic. There's a lot of heavy stuff happening in the world right now. And this is another one that hits home to the Kendama community. So I decided for Ken Entertainment, having Flow Week could be a week where we just, yeah, look back into the things that Dave Mateo has done for us because there's a lot of people who are in the Kendama community now who were not in it before uh, when Dave was around. So maybe you might have heard of Dave Mateo, but the impact is very different when you were there as Kendama was on the up and seeing this dude just do what he did and the, the absolute sheer passion and energy he had for Kendama and his style of Kendama was, you know, above anything that I could really see from other players out there in, in that field of like dance and playing Kendama. Like there's people who are like going out and just like trying to hit better tricks or like harder tricks than the next person how many taps however many like uh but dave well i mean now that i say that he you know he did the whole how many j sticks can he do and he had that 12 which is still ridiculous go out try to just wing a j stick i think like the most i've got was six just like whip like whipping it and back in the day dave was doing this with like your traditional me well maybe a little longer like a three four finger string so if you go back and you watch those those videos of him hawking those J sticks for that eleven or better or twelve or better, you, you can see like he's he's on his toes, he squats so far down, whips it, and he's just on his toes, raising his hand up into the air to make sure that the uh, the string doesn't get tangled and it sticks close to the tama as the Ken's rotating. It's like great so i mean like that that's another thing just talking about dave and the things that you've done bringing it back every once in a while and of course instead of just one day flow week all right we have a lot of uh uh monthly competitions like right down right now stanktober is happening put together by cam and now kind of since he's sponsored by sweets now sweets is kind of like pushing it too so there's a lot of stuff happening but this is just another one that i kind of want to throw in there uh, for October. October is a busy month, man. Stanktober. We got Flow Week now. Uh, hope to, to solidify that and, and encourage everyone to even, you know, share a quick post, a picture, uh, a video clip. Like, what's your favorite Dave clip? And just like record it, screenshot it. I mean, if it's from YouTube or from his Instagram, his Instagram is still there. So you can check out all his old clips and whatnot and just re repost it. Hashtag Flow Week. Not only is it awesome me to spread the awareness of Dave, um, but hey, Jordy from Ken Dama Census hit me up and he's like, dude, I got OG Dave mods still in box that were never sold. And he's like, he just has them. I don't think he ever, he, he put them up after because they're, they're old Dalmas and stuff, 2014 style. So they're smaller than what we really uh, are tradition or what we know right now. So he said, like, hey, let's raffle one off. So that's what we're doing. So just to let you all know, the chances of of you winning are pretty high because there's not so many people who are using the hashtag Flow Week and posting. So I encourage you, do that. Flow Week. You have a chance to get an OG Dave mod. And in box still, that's, that's something special. Something special right there. Uh, okay, okay. So that's what we're going to start off with. We're going to hook over to, yeah. Stanktober. Are you guys a part of it? It's a very challenging thing. A lot of people are complaining about uh, a 28 tricks later for February, the shortest month of the whole year, unless it's a leap year. I think it is a leap year next year too. <laughs> and then people were bitching so hard about oh, 29 tricks. It's like we all play Kendama. It's how you look at it this challenge to give you stress or not? Are you going to enjoy it, right? 
So staying sober is one that is is pretty hefty because you got 31 days. The cool thing is though, you got prompts. You got you have something to look at, to focus on, be like, all right, today we're gonna be doing this style. And just go enjoy it. But that's my biggest point of advice for anyone who is kind of intimidated by any of these monthly challenges. Enjoy it. Because that's that's all that's that's the main purpose of Kendama. Staying sober. Well, a few few more days. And, and hey, another thing, a few more days. N-A-K-O online is happening this weekend. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of announcements of things that are going to be happening, but NACO is going down online. Hopefully there's a lot of people who've been making their, their NACO houses. Uh, I've, I've heard a few people in different areas of the U.S. Not sure about other places. Probably, in, you know, I know in Sioux Lab, they always uh, have our, their, their get together at Sue's place before it was at his store location but now it's just at his house they just hang out he's got a huge like uh driveway so they're all just gonna hang out there probably gonna be dope um so not going to all the tricks are out it's pretty pretty intense stuff here and there and it's a good way to just be a part of the community good way to get experience points in because that's something i think helps you with playing kendama playing in front of other people most pretty much everyone when they start out they're a little uncomfortable nervous shy to play kendama in front of other people i know i had that personally too like it, playing in front of people is is still like even with my level of like i'm like okay i'm pretty confident like i could do around the usa in front of someone to like show them what kendama is but still it, it can it can be you can get the, you can get those stage shakes and the, the frights kick in, but going to competitions, being a part of it is one great way to kind of just get, exp get the XP in to be able to kind of shake that stuff off, to be more used to eyes on you as you're playing Kendama. Now, if you're playing just like hanging out on the sidewalk playing, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, if you got more confidence, if you're with your friends, that's awesome. So that's another reason why I think for these online comps, if you have a group of people a place to go and hang out you know luckily all the pandemic of every shits is now kind of like leveled out so you're able to i think person depending on you uh personally go safely hang out with your friends and that will help i guess relieve some of the stress of playing in front of people even though you're in front of people on the camera even though there's probably gonna be a bunch of people watching because they're gonna be watching the the stream online, but hey, I think that should help out. All right, so that's one thing to say about uh, uh, Naco that's happening this weekend. So tune in. Other things, I th man. Uh, there's oh, I even have some like repeat posts here. Okay, another thing that's happening. Ooh, uh, this is an old one. Hey, I, I, I'll, I'll jam through these. 365. Sumi Nagashi? What is it called? Yeah, Sumi Nagashi uh, Damas out there. I think the, the gold and white definitely hit very hard. The, the contrast is really... And you can't go wrong with the white Ken Dama. Because I got a whole rack of just whites. Like, pretty much the best, I believe. So... That's out. What else is out? Oh, I mean, this one's an interesting one. Again, it's been out for a while because it's been a few weeks since I've been doing weekly dominoes. I should say it's dominoes. From Green Theory, doing a collab with a... Who is that? A butterfly knife company? Blade Runner's System. See, I think... What is it called? Bali Song? See, when I was growing up, we just called it butterfly knives. I took, I had, my dad actually gave me one. I remember practicing a lot like as a little kid. What like middle school or something? Uh, with actual blades, there's no practicing. I I got I got poked a lot, but I didn't try some of the crazy stuff that they do now. So hey, any case, <coughs> cool connection, as well as the biggest thing probably. New baka clear. Okay, baka means stupid in Japanese, and there's a slang for like yo that's dumb, good right. So in Japanese too, baka means stupid, kind of dumb. So you can say like baka umai, which is really delicious. It is a slang. And to have this baka clear, 
makes it good. And it seems like it's like a matte rubber kind of finish. So it's going to be different from the normal rubber that we get from a lot of the Hyundai, well, from the Hyundai factory. But it seems like they up their game. There's something about it that looks like there's an extra like protective coating just from like the visuals right here. And that's something that interests me. It looks like that Hyundai, of course, has been paying attention, seeing what everyone's talking about, the Rhino Clear, the Friction Clear. Um, I don't know what else is out there. You know, Leg Assist, which is Friction. Uh, same with the Steam, which is the same factory where they make the Friction Clear for Sulab. And I think they've been taking notes and trying to figure out a formula. I'm guessing. This is all speculations because we're nerding out about Kendama. <laughs> That this is something that is is kind of upping the game for rubber clears in Hyundai. A type of yeah, a type of like cushion that could be added to their arsenal for Hyundai, which is amazing because you know that means anybody who wants to make a Kandama company, which is fairly easy, if you have the funds, you just look up Hyundai's website. And you can get in the waiting list to make kendamas. And then you need, a, you know, a, a size ratios of the kens and, you know, what you want and stuff. But it might be an upcoming challenge to see how it fares up against the, the, the big names like Friction. You know, like Kush, Cushion from Sweets, right? You got the Friction, the ISR Rhinos, a Clear. Um, Kendama Europe has been doing some interesting things with, with their clears and who else? Like, everyone. Everyone's trying to like make a better clear and it's really tough nowadays to keep up with everything out there. But interesting to see that this big mass producing company, Hyundai, is, is stepping in and it seems like maybe making something that is going to make waves, shall I say? Connecting with that. I'm going to just jump right into the, the recent news of, yo, Slay Dog, cover my mouth. Tree! Sorry if I screamed. Slay Dog 3. You guys, you guys know? Slay Dog 1, when it came out, revolutionized the game. There was other companies, other brands who were doing bigger kandamas and booty holes and stuff. But the Slay Dog is the only one that, like, put itself there and and really change the trajectory of kendama shapes for the future now slay dog three i see i see a good amount of influence from other other can, can i get it can i get like the videos are awesome the way that they're hyping it up krom perfect here we go but it looks like the cool awesome you know very simple design sleek I dig it 100%. Interesting points are, yeah, of course, it's going to be like, you know, bigger a little bit. Uh, the, the base cup is, you know, kind of fatter as it goes out. Really kind of re reminds me of the, which I have right here. I've been testing out. Kendama Europe. Fat going out like a lot compared to other Kendamas on that base cup. Tall. As in like amped style tall because I think they've always been kind of chunky. It's cool to see that they've taken the two good shape and the slay dog and kind of like married the two. I mean, they were already like married or they're like cousins maybe. So maybe they shouldn't marry. Any case, big news is, <coughs> excuse me while I cough. Big news is going back to that Baca clear. They have a new clear too. Hey, where are they making their, comp their, their, their damas? Shit. Uh, I'm probably Hyundai. Okay? I could be wrong. That's what I'm going to guess. Again, speculate. And, oh, no, 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 no. What does it say? Come on. I'm looking back to it. New Chrome Lush Clear Paint. It's just a matter of time until all the other brands are going to be like, okay, let's do this. Is Sweets going to pick it up? Maybe. Do they have it on the S1? I don't think so. I mean, they're, they're just going to keep on rocking with their Kush Clear because that's what makes them stand apart. Makes sense completely. But 
other companies can now do that. Soul? Soul's been always, for the most part, it was like 90% just having a sticky clear. And they've had like rubber cups in the past, but hey, maybe we'll see more rubber style stuff. Depending on your play style, for me personally, I'm definitely a rubber dude, you know, play it safe. So I'm interested to see what it's like. Uh, everyone, it releases on the 20th, which is this week as, as uh, NACO happens, is when it goes on sale for the Japan time. It happens the day after, so the 21st. It's going to be happening on Sunday. Uh, I forgot how much it was, but still. Slay Dog 3. So excited. Can, uh, Krom is, is still pushing it. Still going. In the game. Amazing. Um, going back into it, talking about Europe, Romania, Romania, if, if anyone knows, if anyone knows, Romania has, uh, made a big blast on the scene for Kendama because there was a massive boom for the popularity of Kendama and kids getting into it. Wase, Wase doing lots of, of work and pushing it a lot. Barry, uh, uh, Alpha, that gang right there, been making Kendama really, really a, a thing to be, uh, I don't know, you know, better than the tech decks and shit, you know, for the kids. Um, and there was a boom. So many people went out there. Pros went out there. There was like a fallout with like the different uh, brands that were like uh, resell the resellers over there were very territorial about who's got what. Oh, this is just sweets area. This is just like Chrome selling here this is kusa really really weird uh so it kind of from that i feel like died down or maybe just the natural effect or after effect of a boom something becoming super trendy and then within a few months it just just fizzles away but hey there's still a scene there there's still hardcore dumb nerds heads out there who continue and you know the real heads are the ones that keep on playing this silly little wooden toy. And it looks like Terra and Barry, sponsored player from Terra, are getting together to create that scene, make that scene happen again, and have an event in, in uh, where is it? Bucharest? Romania. Uh, I think that's the first time I ever said that. I think that's correct. Awesome. It's getting going again, guys. Again, I've said in the past, like, a while back, this is the year of Europe. Uh, let's, let's like set a fire under, hey, 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 maybe, maybe, I don't know about right nowadays. Let's have fire. Let's nicely put a lot of energy into building up and seeing what can come out of the Kendama community over in the Euro scene in Europe. Um, that's happening. What's another one? Just, what are we, what are we at? I got 30 minutes. Hey. Another old, not old, but hey, there's been a restock, restock, again, going with Terra, Rage Quit, they did their collab with uh, their Digimon kind of uh, influenced Kandamas, Shadow Dance, with a new ditto shape, sticky painted cups, one in six chances of a full shiny edition, Maple Can Beach Tama, don't miss it. I think that's really awesome how they, I don't follow um, Pokemon at all, but it's out there enough that I do have heard. It's like secondhand smoke, you know? I've had secondhand Pokemon information of cards where it's like you get normal ones and then there's like super limited edition like scented ones or something, scratch and sniff, uh, uh, shiny ones. So such an awesome like little point, little detailed point where you, you just like it is connected with, with this idea of uh, of the pokemon so an awesome job on that and yes that's the one thing i wanted to mention down in the chat daddy lidge says ditto shape is fire ditto shape when they were talking Terra was talking about a new shape coming out of Terra, and it was before they said that it was for the for this rage quit collab i was like oh there we go jared porter he had a very specific shape very special when he was on deal with it and Terra has a lot of pro shaped Kandamas that are coming out. You know, the other company that's done that is, is GT well-known GT doing that in the past. And now Terra 
definitely have the means to do it, but now they're doing it Hyundai style, so mass produced, so everyone can have a chance to not break their bank and get one of these special uh, shaped Kens for the from the pros. So I thought it was going to be Jared Porter's mod, but I was wrong. Rage quit collab. Ditto shape. Continue with the theme of Pokemon, but what is it mimicking? What is the did? Is that what ditto meant? Like mimic? Isn't that to, to, to copy, right? So I'm interested to see, like, who was the copy? Uh, interesting style, but also dope to see. Basically, oh, it's a GFN refined. Ooh, from T Daddy, he, he says specifically. So that's really cool because, you know, maybe not everyone picked up one of these kendamas. Interesting to hear. Interesting to see. Wanting to see more of this kind of style, hoping that uh, they'll continue and not just keep it as an exclusive for the Rage Quit collab and that Terra will release it for other things that they do. That's really dope. On other news, oh my, okay, okay. Sulap. Wyatt Bray. Pro mod. Now, when I had Wyatt on, he, he came and he hang, hung out here in the Weekly Dominoes episode a while back. And we talked about him when he was not on... <coughs> when he was not on any... When he wasn't on... on uh, uh, he just left No Jumper and he wasn't on Quad yet. But now here's his new mod. He is dual-sponsored Quad and Sulab. He has his own mod that he dropped on Quad. But now here is a Sulab version. This one is really interesting because the Ken shape is a quad. It's a quad Kendama's collab. The Wyatt Bray shape made in the USA, okay? So it's made in the USA. So that means AJ from Quad, he in turn, all of these, it looks like there was a, a good amount. And from what I know of Sulab, when they release Tamas, they usually do like, in the past, right? I don't know if he upped the game, but in the past, he would do two colorways and get 100 of each Tama around. So he'd get 200 Tamas in and set them up with cans and stuff and sell them. Here, not sure how much he prepared. It could be 100 or maybe he got just 200 of these, but to have AJ do... Create craft 200. Maybe that's the wrong word. Craft uh, Kusa turn 200 cans. That's amazing. They must have been having this in the works for a while. But the paint, awesome job. Throwback, hard throwback to Wyatt Bray's first Kusa mod when he turned pro. In a in a different kind of light, but still the colors are there. The, the triple stripe is there. Awesome. Maple Tama. Crushable ring. There you go. Really dope. Really dope. Awesome to see. I'm sure. <coughs> excuse me for the coughing, guys. I'm sure um, Wyatt's going to love it. And everyone else who I see in, in the comments right here. Ooh. This just in, Weekly Dominus, uh report from the chat right now. Xlarch says, I think the quad might have gotten a CNC to lathe those kendamas. Hey, there you go. Again, we speculate. Uh, take everything with a grain of salt here. We're just throwing it out. We're just having a good time. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Stop the presses. Oh man, I can't even say that. Shmeek Chem Music says, yeah, Quad has a CNC, which they announced a few months ago. Well, there you have it. Still really cool because AJ is like a single man operation creating those. So even if he does have a CNC, then he like, um, it's just like the craft and, and Ryan over there just putting stuff, shit through the CNC, but able to pick the types of wood, pick what parts of the wood, match them up together. So the quality is a lot higher than some of the stuff that's just chucked on 
um, from Hanui, from at least from what I've heard from uh, Rod, as he specifically mentioned. He's like, they just grab wood and fuck because they're like trying to like get out, bang out, I don't know, hundreds of kendamas in a day. So that's why the whole mass produced side of it can, you know, hack away at the quality. Cool to see. Hey, going talking about crafted CNCs. This is really dope. I'm always a huge fan of Walnut <laughs> since early on. They have people know Walnut as being a very light kendama. Um, but all my my wall mounts are here. They're walnut. Walnut just hits so beautifully. That brown. <laughs> and to see it in a craft, the only thing to be cautious about is I know walnut cans are prone to snapping because we like to jam the sada though down like a lot so it can crack pretty quickly. So be cautious if you pick one of these up. But the thing that really caught my eye was, I think, the Tama. Because they had that, like, raw finish to the Tama. Like, that, ouch! That's like my my hands on a dried Japanese uh, <laughs> winter. It's super dry over here. Yeah. But still, looks super, super dope. And, you know, so, craft, can I say? I think they still have a few. Go check it out. Other ones, hey, new shape. New Shape, who's that from? New Shape, it's called the, I don't know, the perfume bottle. <laughs> Yo, so this one is AI art, Kendama. Did you guys know about this? I mean, if anyone is following the hashtag Kendama in Japanese or in um, English, maybe you've, you've spotted it. This is how I spotted it. But it looks like someone out there has created an AI art Kendama page. Funny stuff to see. It's just like looking in the mind of what could be possible from like a crafter. Like you wouldn't want to spend all the time actually creating it and be like, oh yeah, it's fun, but it's kind of like, it's just a, an art piece. But at the same time, like for me, anybody that's like a collector, even if you want to jam it, definitely I, you want to sesh it. But you also want to collect it. Yeah, Analog, Analog, they, they made a, a trade and they had some weird type of wonky, similar to this kind of Kendama. That was, that's real, actually playable uh, item, piece of wood that they can put in their hand and play. Very, very cool. So go check that out. Let's see, what was that last post they had actually? Are they very active? Maybe not. 34 followers. It looks like, oh, it's in Japanese? Wait, no. I am AI. I will upload Kendama pictures that I create on auto. I even think the description, it's all, it, it, that's not Japanese. Someone who just copy and pasted through into Google Translate. Or, I don't know. That's really weird. Any case, last post was June 19th. First one was June 24th. Oh, July 19th. Sorry. Okay. So just two two months. That's it. So maybe that's all we got. The next piece of news. Oh, shit. Okay. Talking about weird kendamas, like weird shapes like that. Alien kendamas. You guys remember Alien? I think they're from the UK. Is no longer in business. Alien kendama is finished up. They're the ones that brought you... Oh, do they have a picture of it? Yes, there it is. The... What is it called? The Squanch? This baby sumo. Sumo Junior. That was insane for Lunars because the... Because there's like zero base cup. Like it, It's just like right along. Chunky Mod. Was that what it's called? Just the Chunky Mod? It's ending its business venture. That was September 29th. This is how old... Uh, Dominus is look back with a mix of nostalgia and gratitude. We share the news of alien Kendama's closure. Thank you. Aliens. <laughs> we want to express our deepest appreciation to our dedicated customers, fellow Kendama enthusiasts and collaborators with a special nod to those who embraced our unique creations like the chunk. O mod as alien Kendama steps, steps back from its business endeavors. We celebrate and re the remarkable growth of the Kendama community in recent years and we are certain it will only continue to grow. Feel free to reach out or ask any questions. We'll still be active on Instagram. Thank you for being an integral part of our Kendama journey. Alien Head. 
alien can top. True. Well, making a comp. I don't know. I mean, all these companies could be bought out, right? For whatever shapes, whatever like stock they had. Uh, another company could just be like, hey, I would like to buy that and give whoever was the past owner whatever amount to then take those shapes, take whatever, maybe if there's a patent on it, uh, and any yeah, remaining stock to, to then sell. I don't know if Alien is going to be one. You know, just normal kind of kendamas that we've seen. You know, nice colorways, different things. Oh, shit, I didn't know. Okay, they did Spectra plies. Really dope. Art pieces? I'm not sure if they did that. There you go. They, one out of 50 made in the Chunkos were there. So there you go. The aliens have left the building. <laughs> you know, we think in, in a few years the aliens will be coming to Earth. So maybe that's why they had to leave. They were new, like... Like, yo, the real shits, they're really coming. So we got to be like, hey, that's not us. We're not one of them. Um, Alien can now mistakes. Good run. Good effort because it takes a lot to run a Kendama business, to create stuff and to be active, to then create some revenue to keep yourself afloat, to keep yourself going. That's like probably the biggest thing that is... The di most difficult part, not only for any Kendama business, but any small brand, any small business trying to start up to do anything. I feel it definitely myself um, to keep something going, to, to have something that you're passionate about and push forward and to see it just be like, ah, like we, we've seen that we cannot continue. We have to close our doors. It's a sad thing. So Alien Kendama, thank you so much for everything you did. Even if it wasn't like groundbreaking, uh, you still did a lot of cool stuff and I'm sure it created a, a space for more people to learn about Kendama. So amazing. Kendama, alien Kendama. Hey, other amazing news? Yo, skull plane. Other people are skull planing. All right. <laughs> other people are skull planing. This one comes from Jimmy Slays, a Kendama USA sponsored player in Hawaii. I believe it was. Uh, yeah. And it looks like the stream just got stuck. Got him right in the eye. Should I even show you guys? Is it, is it too graphic? I mean, it, the picture itself is graphic. I'll just hold it back here. So you just see it like, oh yeah, it totally hits him in the face. But it goes into his eye. <coughs> oh shit. Skull play. I thought I was the only one dumb enough to try that. Nonoka Kyodo is Sweets Pro. Also... Kengo Kawamura has no shirt on. He's Sweets Pro as well. Two Sweets Japan players have officially turned pro. It was announced in Kingdom of World Cup. I said that weird. KWC. And mods are finally out now for the masses. For everyone to pick up. So pick your poison. And one thing I would like to highlight is that Nonoka's mod is an awesome amazing throwback i mean it can to kendama usa <laughs> which is funny because she's on sweets uh but awesome throwback with having her silhouette on the base cup and then on the sword itself on the ken part uh to have her signature that's so og <laughs> so it's amazing to see her do that there she's right there i got a shotgun interview with her that I did a few months ago, and I just posted it up on Kendertainment's YouTube channel. Go check it out if you're interested to learn about what her favorite moves are, uh, and what her favorite convenience store is, and what she would be doing if she never picked up Kendama. Different things like that, you know? And I did talk with Kengo, I think that was like 2019, I did a shotgun interview with him. So if you scroll back on the shotgun interview playlist, you can find all the other, you can find him. Uh, so that was super awesome. Uh, okay, I got that one, got that one. Hey, talking about Nonoka, Kunoichi is an event that has been put together by a few of the girls, some of the past members of High Laundry. I was gonna say High Risky Laundry 8, 8 Laundry, New York. No, yeah, Honey, Honey Laundry, Honey Laundry. Maybe some people are like, what? Hey, if you watch past weekly Jama News like a while ago, I think it was earlier this year. Last year, there was a group of people, a group of girls, heavy hitters, 
in the woman's side of Ken Dama scene here in Japan, they got together, they created eight players, created a group to try to like push uh, the, 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 wo- the women's movement of Ken Dama, girls playing and stuff. And, you know, there was an all-girls comp, which they didn't have a, anything this year. Haley may be pushing in other endeavors and the other people too. So, you know, this is kind of picking up the torch possibly and coming back around. Nonoka is is put, putting this thing on with Hyo, right? Hyo is a Ken Hole player. Started as a video comp, all right? They did an Instagram video comp and then they're grabbing the, the, the finalists who did the best. I think there's like four finalists. And they're bringing them to do like a battle at the end. And they're not only doing that, they're having an actual event. So this is a really cool thing. I think, yeah, uh, All Girls Comp did this the very first year. Where they had the video at, or they just do it every year where there's like, but it's separate where there's like a video and then there, a video comp and then there's a actual competition. So it's happening next month here in Japan uh, on the 4th. I should probably go. I'll see. Oh, that's all day. Look at that, from 11 to, what is that, 22, 10? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Really dope to see. And you keep looking at that. It's not so far from my place. They're doing a speed ladder as well. It's not going to be just for this video competition to see who the final, uh, who, who wins from the finalists. It's, it's, a, it's a, there's going to be, it's going to be a full event. There's how many hours there, there from 11 until 10? Man. Okay. So awesome to see. There's a lot of different guests that are going to be there. Uh, so go check out their page. Kunoichi. Or is it? It's just Kunoichi Collection, I think. Kunoichi underscore Kendama. Whew. Oh, and then there's a list of all the people that are going to be at the event and stuff. Awesome to see. Next. <laughs> just happened. Soul one up. Out of there. Two up. Okay. We're just going to keep on going. Two up is finally here. The one up held its ground for a very long time. It was at 2019 and now 2023, the two up is here. So you got one leg, one leg up on them. Now you got two legs up on them. I don't know how you're standing anymore. Maybe you're sitting down. It's here. Bigger. 2%. And uh, if you like big kendamas, that's probably going to be one for you. Like, like how it's taller too. Because sometimes like a fat, chunky kendama, for me personally, I don't like the way it feels in my hand. I feel like the, the big ass cups get in the way of, of my grip, but I know people are going to be hyped because so many people love the one up. So you can just imagine that the two up should be better. I don't think there's many Kendama brands that are like, Hey, let's make a shittier Kendama. So that's one to look out for. And here we go. Uh, maybe my final one, unless there's something else that pops up, but Hey, we're going to be starting a few. Yeah, Q&A in just a little bit. Last one I want to talk about is Future Friends released a YouTube video. It's a dope like 14 minute vid about the the, the happenings of the California Kendama Cup that happened and the people that were there. There's even, yo, oh my gosh. If you like the thing that made me click on, I think I, I saw it on YouTube before I saw on Instagram. And the thing that made me click is like, is Z Westy on the thumbnail and then Mave Waves TJ Colsnick. Like what? TJ. Back in it? Action? Is here? And it's super dope to see him to 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 be supporting still, stopping by when he has time, uh, to show that he still loves Kendama and supports everyone moving, pushing it. He had his time, and I believe it possibly could pass, not like he's bad or anything, but just like the amount of energy he had and what he did for it and kendama is taken to a new step but he came in he threw down his traditional like knee bounce type of down spike side spike jams awesome to see so and it's amazing to see actually in that shot how like d westy is so much taller than him like I mean, tj's a tall dude maybe i'm just short tj's a tall dude and i'm like man d westy tall uh and that's it for the news everyone uh, yeah, it's been a while, but hey, I was glad I was able to go through some of the big points that we've seen within the Kendama community within the past few weeks. I'm going to be trying to push these out weekly, but you know, I'm trying to move and do a lot of other stuff 
uh, within different jobs that I have. And Kendertainment is another one. Got some cool stuff happening. Haven't scheduled it all out when things will be releasing or more information on that will happen. But kind of big things. More things I'm really excited about and and uh, can't wait for you all to see. So we're going to go into the Q&A right now. And if you have a question, I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. Again, I speculate a lot, but we nerd out and talk about Kendama. <laughs> so hit it up in there. Oh, sweets. Yeah, sweets. A cold Kendama's collab. Just in time for the spooky season. Yeah. X large. All right, we already hit it. X large asks, what, have you seen the soul to up shape? So to come out of the closet, I've never played a one up. I believe I don't own a one up. I've probably played it when Sue had his store, which was when did that finish? 2019? No, 2022. 20, so I don't know what the tube would be. I think I played the one up and I think for me it was felt too big. I didn't like it so much. Possibly. Again, I don't even remember. So, two up? Is it going to be better? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Next one. T-Daddy, Lynch. As an OG, how do you feel about the double big cup to Kendamas? Will the small cup become obsolete? Oh. So, as an OG, I totally think it's fine. It's awesome. Put Kendamas out there. I have weird-ass kendamas. I could just see it as weird-ass kendama. Do I decide to use the weird kendamas? Not all the time. I pick it up when I want to have fun. So I think same with these big cup, double big cup. Like, yeah, Adrian Esteban mod. That is a symmetrical sauna, though. There is There are two big cups on there. But if you look at some of the recent stuff, like, I can't tell. Like, okay, um, you, can, you can see. But... <laughs> but the size difference is so small so small especially like in the hand like i i can lunar like crazy on the small cup all right maybe that one's even better for me because the big cup's just too big maybe it's always bumping into a hand or some shit but you can't even tell anymore all right so do it up go for it make I'm just waiting for the, the triple big cup kendama. That's probably going to be wait. You'd have to have, maybe if it was like on an XL, I guess that would be, but yeah. I guess that's just what a big kendama is. If you got your kaijus and your sumos. Personally, I'm not a, a big fan huh, of bigger kendamas. But yeah, I think it's totally fine. Everyone go, do what you do. Play what you like. That's the best thing about Kendama. There's a lot of, I guess, ideas of OGs. Like, I mean, even me, like, you know, I, I still stand by the whole short finger string and stuff. But the best thing about Kendama is like, it's like music. You have the own, your own kind of music that you enjoy, what you like, and nobody can tell you otherwise. All right. No matter how much you like this band and somebody else is like, oh my God, that's the worst band ever. I can't believe you like them. You'd be like, well, y you don't have to listen to them, okay? We're not at a bar where everyone has to listen to the shitty music that someone put on the on the jukebox, right? Probably one of the main reasons why I didn't go to bars a lot because I hated listening to other people's music when it was something that I didn't like. I'm stuck up a little bit. But with Kendama, you don't have to play other people's Kendamas. You play whatever Kendama you want. That's why I'm totally cool having my old school kendamas and I feel just like, I'm like, what do I do with them? I can just like get rid of them. And it's a part of the collection. You know, it's, it's like you pick up memories and each kendama has like some sort of like memory to it. So I feel bad just like getting rid of them and just like having a bunch of new age kendamas, modernized kendamas that I can play with. Uh, but still, I choose to do that. You can choose to jam a, a triple big cup kendama power to you. The big thing that it comes into the question uh, is to, or, or is when we're going to go into comps with it. 
and what would be okay to bring to a competition. Now, to a certain degree, it's like, well, it's just like, are you good at doing that trick? And like high technical tricks, you need a lot more skill than just having a well-balanced or honed in like the, the specs, a high spec can dumb, right? Or a really, really sticky paint. So, you know, you can say what you will about like the boxes needed or the boxes not needed. I feel like majority of people feel like the, the, the KWC box is not needed anymore because everyone's just going off. But maybe the only thing that can be regulated or looked at is maybe like size of spike, size of bevel. Because if you have a massive just hole, that might help you lay like a lot of things easier. But hey, that's just what his OG thinks. And that's it. Those are the questions. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Listen to me. Weekly Dominoes. I'm your host, Ken Entertainment's MJ. Uh, yeah. Ken Entertainment. Got a lot of new things coming in the works. Been putting more effort into it. Dominoes is coming back as full force, really, this time as much as possible. Creating new types of videos for YouTube. Uh, hope to get one up by this before NACO because it has something to do with NACO, kind of, or, or announcements to happen at NACO. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, hey, if you like Weekly Jamba News and you just jumped in, you missed most of it, don't worry. This is going to be archived here. But hey, you can also check the podcast anywhere you get where you get podcasts. Weekly Jamba News, you'll find the podcast and you can listen to all the back episodes. Uh, even though there's, you know, maybe that news is late. There's some times where I just talk about riff out about different ideas that I have about that time or something of the Ken Dama world. So definitely go check those out. And you can also watch these whole videos skim through a lot easier on Weekly Dominion's YouTube channel. So go follow, like, and all that jazz. And that's it. Hopefully we'll see you next week for another one, depending on how busy I'm. It's Things have been piling up a little thicker recently, especially, you know, the end of the month and stuff. But be on the lookout. New vids, new nerds, maybe new merch. Yeah, new merch. All right, guys. Thanks again. Weekly Dominoes. I'm your host, MJ. Keep it clean.